What is up everyone? Welcome to the channel. I'm the Perch Jerker and I make fishing videos and I catch fish and I show you guys how to cook the fish that I catch. Today we are cooking rockfish and I actually have a bonus for you guys today. I have a sand app that I caught yesterday while I was out rock fishing and I've never had a sand app before. I heard they're really good so we're gonna cook this up too and see how it is. If you want to see the video of me catching these rockfish, we caught over 50 fish and we actually went into the new legal depths of California. It's 600 foot now that we're allowed to fish in and that's where we caught these fish. I'll leave the video link up here at the top for you so you guys can watch that video. These fish that I have here had their head removed and the guts taken out of it. So we got the whole body right here. The first thing we're gonna do is score the fish. Whenever I score the fish, I usually cut it about six times down the body, just like that. Get your scores, and the scores are so the marinade can get inside of the fish and make the meat all nice and juicy and tasty. We're gonna get these all scored, and then I'm gonna wash them in the sink. I wash them in the sink, and what I'm gonna do is put them on paper towels and dab them all dry, just so whenever we put them in the marinade, they soak up all the marinade and there's not water getting mixed in and everything. Patch your fish dry, and we will set them to the side. Now it's time to make our marinade. For the marinade today, I'm going to be using chopped green onions. This is diced up habanero peppers. I love spicy food and the flavor of habanero is amazing. If you don't want it spicy, don't put this in, or you can use jalapenos or something to make it less spicy. Bang. And you already know that you have to have garlic. I got a few cloves of minced garlic. I'm gonna put the garlic in. Now it is time to add the soy sauce. You can put I don't know. I'm gonna put like half of this bottle in there, I think. You can put in as much as you want. And now my favorite part, the honey. I'm gonna make this fish sweet. There's just something about a sweet fish that just gets me going. And I'm going to put in about, I don't know, maybe a third of this bottle or something. Maybe a half, something like that. There we go, guys. We have our marinade. Now we're gonna stir it up. It's gonna be a good time. Now you're gonna wanna mix this up and I'm going to let it sit for about five to 10 minutes or so, just so all of the flavor of the vegetables can mix in with the marinade and get all tasty. It's gonna be wonderful, trust me. This is such a sweet and salty recipe. You can make any fish with this recipe and it will taste amazing, I promise you. Ooh, hoo, hoo, there we go. You already know this is gonna be good. Oh, that smells amazing. The sweetness of the habanero in there, oh my God, it's gonna be so good. Once your marinade is done, we're gonna put the fish into a bowl so we can pour the marinade on top of them and let them sit in the fridge. Once your fish are in the bowl, you are going to dump the marinade on top of the fish. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Oh man, that's a good time right there. Once your marinade is all in the bowl, you're gonna wanna baste your fish and you're gonna wanna move them around just to get that marinade all coated all over the fish. I like to push the fish down so that way you can get the marinade covering all of the fish when you put it in the fridge. I am going to cover this and I am going to put this in the fridge for about, I would say three hours. I'm gonna leave it in the fridge for three hours today. You can leave it longer if you want. I'm sure if you soak this overnight, it'll be even more tasty, but for today's sake, I'm doing it for three hours. I am going to be cooking this fish in an iron skillet and I'm going to be baking it in the oven at 350 degrees. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put oil in the bottom of the pan and spread it around. You've probably been wondering what the yellow bell pepper is for this whole time. And I'm gonna put you guys on one of my best cooking secrets for fish. And what you do is take your bell peppers and lay them skin side down in the bottom of the pan, okay? What you do is you cover the bottom of the pan and you take your fish that you're cooking and you lay them on top of the peppers. So the peppers cook underneath the fish, they soak up flavor from the marinade and your fish does not stick to the pan. It's the best hack ever. Sometimes when you cook fish in a pan, it'll stick to it. This completely takes that out of the equation. Then once your pan is done cooking, you have fresh fish on top and you got charred veggies on the bottom. You mix it all together, it's a great time. I like to leave my fish in the oven at 350 for 40 minutes. And once it's done marinating, you're just gonna wanna pull it and set it on top of your shelf of yellow bell peppers. We got our two rockfish and last but not least, we got the sand dab. Now I like to take a fork and get the veggies from the marinade and just pour them on top of the fish. That way, while this cooks, the veggies from the marinade are just soaking in the flavor into the fish and it just happens to be a good time. There you have it. That is the fish in the pan. The oven is preheated and I shall put in the fish. 
I'm putting it on the middle rack. While I patiently wait to stuff my face, the smell coming out of this oven right now is ridiculous. If you cook this, let me know, because I want to know what you think. This smell is amazing. It is the moment that we've all been waiting for. It's time for fish. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the fish. That's the little uh, sand app right there. And these are the two rock fish. Oh my God, these look so good. If you've been around the channel, you already know that it's time for that jerk master privilege. If you're new to the channel, please go down and subscribe to the channel. That's all I ask. All right, let's eat this food. I am going to peel this skin back and I am going to take this chunk of meat off of the bone right here, you guys. Look at that steamy chunk. We love steamy chunks around here. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Since I left out on the boat to catch this fish, this is the moment. All right, let's get it. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That is so good. That is beyond good. Like I said before, rockfish is good alone. Like, you don't even need seasonings on it. But if you use this recipe and then eat it, it's ridiculous. This is ridiculously good. It's sweet and salty. You will love this. I promise you. Please try this and let me know how it tastes, you guys. You have to try this. You can do this with any fish. Mmm. So good. These yellow bell peppers in the bottom, they're cooked perfectly, you guys. They're nice and soft, a little bit crispy. Oh my God, let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. The marinade soaks into them. It's incredible, you guys. Now it's time to try this sand dab. I've never had one of these before. There we go. That's a big piece of the sand dab soaked in the marinade and cooked perfectly. Let's get it. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Yo. Yo, sand dab is incredible. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Oh my gosh, that sand dab meat is incredible. It is like a halibut. It's honestly like a halibut. It's uh, They call it the poor man's halibut, or that's what we call it, but oh my God, it is incredible. Mmm, oh my gosh, you guys. This is incredible, 100%. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Mm. All right, you guys, I'm about to stuff my face and finish this whole plate. Thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. If you made it this far, please just subscribe to the channel. That's all I ask. I'm going to be coming at you guys with more fishing videos. I have a jerk squad meetup on March 27th to the left of Huntington Beach Pier from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. We're going to be surf fishing. It's going to be a wonderful time. Make sure you guys are there. I can't wait for it to hang out with everyone, hit the surf, catch some perch, jerking them. You know how we do. All right, thanks you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Like and subscribe for more fishing videos and more cooking videos. I'll see you guys. Let's go. Peace.